All right. Jeff, uh, losing a fight is not something that you're used to doing very often. So I got to wonder, I mean, uh, I guess just how tough was it for you to kind of cope with the result and, and start moving forward? Um, it, it wasn't tough at all. You know what I mean? Uh, losing is a part of this sport. You know, you, like, you win some, you lose some, you know. Uh, and um, I learned a lot from that fight, you know. So uh, I take it for what it is, you know. Uh, just uh, moving forward is uh, my only focus. Were there any regrets at all? I mean, I know you had a bunch of hurdles, right? I mean, there were so many things that were difficult for you to get over just to get into that fight. So were there any regrets that maybe you didn't back out? Maybe you just didn't say, you know, this is too much? No, I mean, I signed up for this sport, you know what I mean? It's never too much. I'm a fighter, so you know what I mean? Regardless of the uh, obstacles and stuff that I had to deal with, you know, uh, I fought through it, you know what I mean? I still took the fight, you know, went five rounds with a beast, and uh, I didn't die. <laughs> You talk about the lessons you take out of it. When, when, you, when you talk about the lessons, is it, you know, specifics, like technical to the fight, or is it more just like the whole kind of levels to this game type of thing? I mean, a little bit of both, you know what I mean? There are levels to this game and uh, specific things, like, you know what I mean, that he was able to keep his focus for five rounds straight, you know what I mean, regardless of how tired he was, you know what I mean? He didn't show me he was tired. Like, just for somebody to keep that focus for five rounds straight, that just lets me know the, uh, the level of, like, mentally, the level I need to be at. It, it, and then you get this matchup here. Is this a matchup that you wanted to see put back together? Was this like an important fight for you to, to have again? Yeah, for, for sure. It's, uh, it's, it's really important for like, you know what I mean? Just like a, like a test for like my future in the division. You know what I mean? Like things I need to work on. You know, if I, if I can't handle uh, Magny's pressure, his wrestling, his grind, then there's no way I'm going to be able to handle Usman or one of the guys up top. So I, I have to get through him to see where I'm at. It does seem to be like one of those matchups that people try to avoid, right? You know, yeah, so, yeah. so you came back to it. I mean, was it, was there something important there, like a message you want to send? No, no message. You know, what I mean, this is this is for me. You know, I'm not I'm not here to send a message to anybody. You know, like I, I want to win and I want to test myself and I want to be the best fighter there is. So I gotta I gotta go through the best. Yeah. I noticed, and, and it seems like a, a recent trend. You were like, man, I got off social media. It's not. It's it was it was terrible. You know. Trash. What, what, yeah, what happened? Because this seems to be something uh, I'm hearing a lot of fighters say lately. Like, I just don't want to deal with it anymore. It, it's, it's, it's toxic. Uh, like, you know what I mean? There's, like, I get on social media, and there's always, like, comments about this, comments about that. You know what I mean? Everything's getting political. You know what I mean? You can't say anything or somebody's going to get offended. And it's just, like, it's, it's not what it used to be back when it was MySpace and, like, when Facebook first started when it was fun. But, you know what I mean? Like, now I get on social media, and it's always something. You know what I mean? Somebody's trying to push a certain agenda. Somebody's offended by this. You know, it's... It's toxic, it's, and I stay away from it just to keep my peace. I know it's one thing you did put on there. You said, though, I'm, I'm pissed off, and I've never been happier about it. Yeah. I mean, is that is it, I mean, are you really, like, angry, or is that just kind of like a, a mindset you're, you're adopting? It's just like, it, it's a fire, you know what I mean? Like, pi like, I'm pissed off, but, like, you know what I mean? It's like a fire that's in me, and, like, I like feeling that. I like feeling that, uh, that anger, that aggression, you know? Like, that's what drove me to get here in the first place, so, you know, I can't uh, really let go of that too early. Nice. Last thing for me, I kind of wonder what your goal is here because I, I feel like there was so much hype, right? You were like the next big thing, and then you suffer one Still defeat. And you know, yeah, I was going to say, that's how it is, right? Like people just, ah, oh, I, I told you it wasn't that good, you know what I mean? So is there, is there a goal to like send some kind of message or to prove a point that, hey, I'm, I am still that guy that everybody was hyped about? I mean, uh, I'm just going to do what I do best, you know, uh, and when it takes, it takes care of everything. So I'm just going to win this fight, you know, and uh, plan is to win it in uh, – devastating fashion and uh that's the message i'm gonna send i'm not looking to send a message you know what i mean i'm 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 secure in who i am and what i am and like how i fight so i don't i really don't care what people say i'm just gonna do what i do best just out of curiosity i'm interested how much do you feel your day-to-day -day happiness has improved since getting off social media a lot <laughs> a lot a lot you know like not reading all these comments not um just like feeding into these, like, the trolls and all the stuff, you know what I mean? Because once you take, once you get away from social media, you realize that the world's really not that bad. You know, like, once you, once you put your blinders on and just focus on what's in front of you, you see that all this shit is just, like, the, the media, the propaganda, it's, it's, a, it's there to piss you off, so don't look at it so you can get pissed off, you know? Like, I wake up every day, and I go to work, you know what I mean? Well, I used to go to work, but I go to the gym, you know what I mean? I take a shower, I eat my food, you know, life's good. So I, I'm not going to let media persuade me any other way do you think it's also done wonders to your productivity right just not staring at a phone screen for hours on end yeah product yeah i mean i still play my video games so i can't really talk about uh, productivity yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i was wondering with the stephen thompson fight obviously 
you know, you want to win the fight and it's disappointing you didn't. But do you look at that and th sort of think that was almost a cool experience to realize, okay, I can, I can still improve to levels of other guys? Yeah, that, that's exactly what I took from it. You know what I mean? Like, after the loss in the cage, I really wasn't, like, too torn up about it. But, like, when I went in the back, that's when I started breaking down. I was like, oh, fuck, I fucking lost on national television. But, uh, no, it, it was an experience. You know what I mean? I'll do it again if I had to. Does it sort of ease it any easier because Stephen Thompson is, like, a pretty nice guy and it's not like they lost to a dickhead? Exactly, exactly. That's, that's probably the main reason. If he was a dickhead, I'd probably be still hurt about it. Thanks, man. That's it.